Hello everyone! Welcome to an unboxing video today. I resubscribed to the Coco Daisy kit a couple months ago and life has been kind of crazy so I haven't done any unboxing videos but I'm starting with this new one because I'm super excited about it to be back to it getting some great stuff from them every month so I'm gonna do this one I have no idea how this is gonna to relate to travel at all <laughs> because I did see a preview of it and it's not a theme that I think will work but they always surprise me you never know so as you can see here I was a little excited about opening this box I kind of mutilated it it came on Saturday and I was too busy to get to it and so I was so excited today I went a little crazy I apologize so I will take everything out here so we can look at it. Yes, this one is called Lemon Grove and it's got kind of this Mediterranean feel to it is the vibe I got from it. Now, I don't have any travel photos that are Mediterranean, but that doesn't mean I won't at some point. Greece is always on my list, so you never know. So I've pulled everything out of the bag here and right away, I am in love with these. <laughs> I love the little embellishments that they do, and these are no exception. I love the little heart. You can use that on anything. The lemons, I'm not totally sure how I'll use that. Have to get creative, maybe. Sunshine, of course I can use that. I am thinking initially that, you know, I am gonna be in Chicago at the time when Greek Fest is happening. And so I'm thinking maybe I could find a way to make these work for Greek Fest because they've got that Mediterranean flair. We'll see, we'll see. So for now, I can't see travel specific stuff. I'm just going to put them off to the side. So you always get a little package of embellishment things. So I've got that. And then these look like little word extras in here. I'll open them in a bit. But look at, I love the washi already. Stamp set, the cards, I always tend to do those last. Alpha's chipboard, and then paper stuff I do last too. So you know what, I'll start with these things actually. Let's leave the paper over here for later. So stamp set, I love these tiles. These are pretty awesome. And you could use those for lots of different things. Actually, maybe I could use those for Prague. When I'm working on those photos, I bet I could figure out a way to maybe make that work because I saw lots of mosaics, lots of stained glass in churches. So that, that might work for that. And these other ones, I don't know. Again, I'll have to get creative, but that just means it's a challenge, which I find exciting. So here's a little tag that was in there by itself. There is sunshine in my soul today. This I could use for lots of different things, perhaps not travel necessarily, but it'll get used, I guarantee it. And then look at this beautiful alphabet. I love this blue. Again, I could use this for anything. I am thinking right now that actually, I probably could use this for some photos from Vienna. Uh, we took a river cruise and part of what we saw is they allow people to do graffiti on the sides of the walls at the river and there were some very very bright blue things in there so maybe I could make that work so I'm actually going to put that in my travel pile. Here are the chipboard pieces. Lots of summery themed things. So, oh, wonderful summer, a slice of life, carefree. Oh, take a picture, one fine day. These are generic enough that I could use those. Here for the food, I could probably use that for my Europe photos because I generally take pictures of food anyway, but I totally did on that trip because pretty much every meal we ate was wonderful. So I could use it for that. Woohoo, unplugged, it's a wonderful life. What does this say? Let the good times roll, hello summer. Oh, and geotags, well of course I'm gonna use those. Eat out would work. And then look at these beautiful tabs down here. There's that Mediterranean type theme again, I love it. So for now, I am gonna put this in my travel pile because if nothing else, I can pop these out and probably here for the food and make those work. Next I have this package that has the fun words or phrases in it. So it says summer stories, hello summer. And these are actually foam. They are glitter foam. That's pretty cool. And then what do I have here? Summer is a state of mind and this moment. Well, this one I could probably use in travel because I know I have this color too. And I think it's photos from Prague. So I could use that there. I'm gonna put that in my travel pile. These, probably not. Those will stay with my summer themed stuff, which is just fine. Now I did take that trip in the summer, but 
think I'll just save it for my normal layout. So here is a close-up photo of what comes in the package, and then I will dump them all out so that we can see them well. So I separated these out. These are kind of more the generic pile. And you can kind of see here a lot of just basic labels, which Coco Daisy does a lot, but then some other pieces. But then all of these I feel like I could use in travel because it's things to do, places to go, photo fave, today's story favorite, and look at this beautiful, beautiful geotag. I love it. So all of these things will go into my travel pile. And I know for a fact the yellow stuff I can use because in Prague, one of the churches we went to had a very yellow side on one side and the sun was hitting it. So there was very much a yellow glow and I could probably use a lot of those for those photos, I bet. So I'm excited about that. There's a good amount of stuff. I don't need that little thing. There's a good amount of stuff in here though that I can use for travel related things. So that is awesome. Let's take a look at this, shall we? I have to say I'm super excited about this because I recently used the last doily that I had. It was a shiny gold metallic one and I had actually cut it in half and used it on more than one layout, but it's gone and so now I have none really. So this is kind of fun and these are actually paper. They are not sewn doilies. They're not like the thicker ones. These are actually feel like they're just made from thin paper that was cut out. So that's perfect for me because I'm trying to cut down on bulk in a lot of my albums like these. So those are the same. Then I have these. Oh, just look at these. Look at that bright, beautiful yellow. I do love yellow. I bet I can work this in for Prague as well. Maybe, maybe Vienna too. I can't remember if I have anything specifically yellow there, but I know Prague. So those are going in the travel pile. And then look at the big ones. Those are absolutely gorgeous. Now, we did eat at a Greek place in Vienna. I had already kind of planned and done some stuff with that, but I'm wondering if I may need to make a change so that I can incorporate this because this is just too fun. Now, we did also eat at a Greek place in Munich on our last day of our trip, like the night before. So... I might be able to work it in there too. I don't know. I'm going to save them though and I'm going to put them in this pile. Even if I only use one, I can always move the other one out later. But I'm excited about being able to use those. So these will go in the regular pile. Those go in the travel pile. Let's look at the big papers, the six by eight. So wood grain on one side, lemons on the other. This is probably more likely to get used just because it's a more neutral type of paper. Love this green. I could use that for anything. We saw some gardens while we were on our trip, so I could use that. But look at this. Ooh. I'm going to put that in the travel section for now. This one, I love the colors in it. Oh, shoot. Well, I think that's... Oh, my God. <laughs> that's going to have to go in the travel. So will this. Has to. Absolutely. Love it. Yep, it's going to be this side. It gets used. And then more lovely yellow. Totally digging that pattern. Ooh. I like this too, but could I use it for travel? I don't know. For now, I'm going to put this in my regular pile, but it might get moved later. We'll see. So last but not least, we have the cards. The pocket cards. So let's take those out. Let's do the 4 by 6 first. See what we got here some lovely lemons there and these are always two-sided but that's cool too if you want to journal Ooh, not sure which side I'll end up using depends on what my summer looks like I guess summer is here oh that's interesting I don't do traditional project life but I'm taking a week-long vacation in August and I might be able to do something with this so I'm gonna put that in the travel pile Ooh, details, and it's got the beautiful orange and yellow and blue. Oh, look at it. It's the same as this. Well, that obviously has to go in the travel pile because I could use this side if I need to match something, or I can use this for journaling. There you go. Oh, it's another one of those kind of patchwork, piecework ones like the paper. Or what is this? When life gives you lemon. Oh, 
probably this one. And actually this one would be nice to cut it into two three by fours and use it that way as well. Right now I'm gonna put it in this pile. Let's go on to the three by fours. We'll start with this one. So it's just a nice tag, which could be used for journaling. Or Happy June, very cute. We always get a calendar one in this kit as well, in the pocket kit. One starts on Monday, one starts on Sunday, so you can choose. Not sure what I'll do with that yet, but I'll keep it. Sorry for what I said when I was parking the camper. <laughs> we don't have a camper, but that's funny. Happy thoughts with glasses. Ooh. I don't know that I would use it on a trip, but, I, but I'll use this side. Lemons to match the paper. Oh, and you know what? I actually like this side better because then you can journal on it. So much to look forward to. That might be a good travel one, talking about maybe as we started out on one of our days. Sunny days. No, I like this one. Travel pile for that. Weekend adventures. Laughter, summer, ice cream. You know what? This one, um, I'm going to be in Chicago a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I could maybe get away with calling that weekend early weekend. Let's put that over there. Love this green polka dot. Oh. Ugh, this makes me sour. Okay, I love this little lemon face. I don't know that I would actually end up using this sign, but I do like this little guy. Put him over here. Squee! That's cute too. Whoever drew these little faces, brilliant. I can't contain my excitement. Cute. Oh, let's eat on the menu. Um, I think I'm going to save this one for a trip as well because I dig taking pictures of my food. Staycation, be bold, make waves. <gasps> I'm going to keep this for Boston. We're going whale watching. I might be able to, to work that in somehow. Travel pile. I don't want to forget this. Also very well suited to travel. Backstory. Ooh, there's a story behind this and it's horizontal. This would be great for when I use the inserts that have two three by four horizontal pockets. Definitely travel pile. Another lovely Mediterranean pattern. Every summer has a story. That's going to go over there. We'll look back at this and laugh. Mm. Not sure about that one. I do have some travel stories where that might work. For now, I'm going to put it over here. I can always switch it. Is there anything better than an everyday kind of day? And just a little jar. I'll put that over here. Plaid pattern. Summer over here. Hashtags. Summer top 10 over here. Let's have fun today. Grill master. Oh, I have to keep that for the summer. My husband loves to grill in warm weather. That'll get used. Another lovely pattern. I'm going to put this in the travel pile because when I go to Greek Fest, there's a specific church that hosts it, and I'm hoping it'll be open so I can go in and tour. And I saw some of this in parts of the church. So let's hope I get lucky on that one. Lemons, flip flops, yummy, yummy. Oh, and there's that just kind of barn background there that's neutral. Best set ever, obviously, for Father's Day. My husband's um, potentially not going to be home on Father's Day, but we'll see what I can do with it. Summer vacation. School's out for summer. Lovely little sun there. Ooh, I like this for journaling. I'm going to put that over there. Enjoy the sunshine and then just a yellow patterned card. So there's lots of things here that I love. This is what I'm ending up with for my travel pile, which is pretty good from one kit. I'm super pleased. I do also think I'll use lots of the more generic stuff as well. So this is a great kit for this month. Thanks for watching, everybody.